Hello everyone, this is Gaurav here and welcome to this fresh video on vehicle detection. We'll see how can we implement vehicle detection using OpenCV and Python within few lines of code. So let's get started. This vehicle detection application can be a core component of any smart city for which we can have automated traffic management, vehicle tracking, speed detection, and it can have endless applications. We'll be implementing this code in our Jupyter Notebook, and as well as you can run this in the Google Colab. Now we'll start importing our useful libraries. We'll import CV2, which is a library of Python designed to solve computer vision problems. We'll import time, which is used for time-related tasks, and also we'll import numpy as np. NumPy is used for working with arrays and matrices, which is an abbreviation for numeric Python. Once we have executed our first step, our second step is to import the cascade classifier. Now, CV2 has its own object detection approaches called Har cascades, which are trained already using positive and negative images, which are used by us to detect object in other images. Now, CV2 has various Har cascades, which are used for frontal face detection or eyes detection or nose detection and also vehicle detection which we'll be using in this video now for these files you don't need to worry about i'll be providing my github link in which i have provided these har cascades xml files xml that is extensible markup language files now for downloading this click on the har cascade car which we'll be using in this video this will pop up this window click on raw now just right click and you can save this in your desired folders as an xml document now you need to import this from your folder in which you have saved it and just will run this code in this third step we'll be importing our video from which we need to detect our cars or vehicles for that purpose, we'll be using cv2.video capture, which will be taking our video and which will be saving in the variable called cap. We'll just run this step. So the video which we'll be using for our car detection will be this. We'll just also run this consecutive step. Now in this fourth and the last step, we'll be using while loop, while cap dot is open, where cap is the variable in which we have saved our video, and dot is open, will return true if video capturing has initialized. We'll be using time dot sleep 0.05 seconds. So this will suspend execution of current thread for a given number of seconds. Now I'll be reading our first frame by using return comma frame is equal to cap dot read so whatever video which we had saved in our cap variable will be transformed into different frames which will be stored here and also the return will obtain the return value from getting the camera frame either true or false it will return true if frame is available and vice versa now secondly when the cv2 receives any file it is initially saved by default in bgr format that is blue green and red format so we'll convert our frames from bgr to gray using this cvt color so this is used for color conversions we'll be passing our frames to car classifier dot detect multi scale so car classifier is the one in which we had stored our har cascade for vehicle and car detection and this detect multi scale will be detecting object of different sizes in an input file and objects are returned as a list of rectangles and also it detects cars of different sizes well last but not the least we'll be extracting our bounding boxes for any of the bodies that is vehicle or cars identified for that purpose we'll be using the for loop preceded by x y w h in cars where x and y is the starting point and w h refers to width and height of the rectangle we'll be using cv2 dot rectangle this is used for drawing any rectangle for our image or any of the input file which we provide 
in this we will pass our all the frames the second variable is the starting point of our rectangle and this is the ending point of our rectangle which refers to x plus width and y plus height third is the color code you can give any color to our rectangle so this particular color co color code refers to red and this final variable refers to border thickness so you can increase or decrease the border thickness by varying this particular number also we'll be adding this if condition that if cv2 dot weight key 1 is equal equal to 1 please break it so you can use any number of your choice basically what this does is by clicking 1 you can terminate the video you can terminate the action and lastly the cap dot release and cv2 destroy all windows so here we complete all our code explanation and it's time to execution of the code now let's do that we have restarted the code and cleared all the outputs so we can execute it one by one so starting from step one step two step three step four and the step five now as you can see we have this file in which our vehicles or cars has been detected so this is how it works you can change this color from red to green blue and any color of your choice well this was all from my side you can visit my github in the repository section you will find the opencv implementation folder in which i have similar projects you can check those out too you can find car detection using opencv jupyter notebook for the code for today's video and do start the repository I'll also be mentioning GitHub link in my description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do subscribe, like and share as much possible. Do mention your genuine views in the comment section below. Thank you, take care and bye-bye.